We have an update to a story we've been closely following here on News Nation. New fallout today after an American woman mysteriously disappeared in the Bahamas. 42 year old Taylor Casey of Chicago has not been seen since June 19th when she went missing during a yoga retreat. And now we've learned that the chief superintendent of the Royal Bahamas Police Force has been placed on leave. The police force saying it comes after some voice memos emerged about local Bahamian gangs. And while the department is not specifically tying this to Taylor's case, it comes as her mother suspects discrimination in this investigation. Let's bring in senior national correspondent Brian Enton, who is live. Brian, what does all of this mean when it comes to the search for Taylor? Uh, well, Nicole, there's a lot of questions right now uh, in terms of what really happened here. And, and you mentioned it, her family, they're frustrated. Uh, they don't believe that the police investigation has been thorough. They don't believe that it's been taken seriously. And now comes uh, this word uh, that the police superintendent has actually been put on leave. Now, all indications are uh, that that the uh, the officer in charge of criminal investigations, Michael Johnson, uh, has been put on leave because of what is being called a voice note scandal. There's no indication that the scandal has anything to do with the missing woman from Illinois and instead is uh, is about corruption and there's a whole corruption investigation happening behind the scenes. But still, it doesn't give Taylor's family faith uh, in how the investigation is being run. Taylor went missing on June 19th from a yoga retreat uh, on Paradise Island. This is actually a new video inside the tent uh, where she was staying at the retreat. Nicole, you can see that's where she was sleeping. She was supposed to be there for, uh, for several weeks working to learn yoga so she could go back to Chicago and teach. But her family says uh, she vanished and that her phone, her cell phone, was actually found in the ocean. Uh, but they have not been able to access it, the police say. This is the latest from the police in, bah in the Bahamas. Take a listen. That was checked by our technical team, trying to gain access to see what information that maybe could assist the investigation. We were unable to get into the phone. We had the assistance of our U.S. partners, and up to now, they also is having problem trying to get in to that cell phone. Yeah, we've been told that the FBI is also trying to get into the phone, but hasn't been successful. The family has said their retreat where she was staying, uh, they believe has not been forthcoming with information and that guests staying there were not even aware that Taylor was missing. But the retreat, it's called Savanandra Ashram, says they are cooperating with the investigation and they believe that Taylor may have voluntarily left uh, voluntarily left her tent and left the ashram on her own. They released a new statement to News Nation. Uh, it says, in part, Taylor is a beloved member of our Sivananda ashram community, and we are doing our level best to help searching for her while continuously praying for her safety. We sympathize with her mother, Ms. Seymour, and her friends and family. We share their pain at this difficult moment. However, we feel that it is better if we all stand together and work together to find Taylor rather than blame others or share misinformation. The U.S. Embassy in the Bahamas is aware of the investigation, but Taylor's family is urging the U.S. government and the FBI to do more, be more involved. Uh, they say they have not even gotten a call or an update from police in the Bahamas in weeks, but they are expecting to now get some kind of briefing uh, towards the end of this week. Nicole. Yeah, and we just hope that Taylor comes home safely. Yeah. All right, Brian, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.